Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul. We're going to do the some more of our regular playthrough at this point. So what we're going to do, I was going to start the Atlas run at this point. Um, if you look at our log here, you're going to see that we have the Atlas path to run through. So that's our next step in this, or this stage, if you will. However, there was a secondary mission that was given to us to install the Remembrance. This is an item that you put in your inventory that helps you to access certain um, newer dialogue in certain space stations and places like this. Um, good idea to go ahead and get that done. As you can see, we need platinum, we need to install the technology, of course, and we need to find something called the Heart of the Sun. So what this does is it's giving us some new items in our ability to create things. So you see it's actually telling us to install this. See? Remembrance? So we're going to go ahead and get that. We can put the platinum in, but we don't have this heart of the sun. So where do we get that? You know, as as well as I do, we've never come across it in any of our travels. But if you look closely at our ability to build things, yes, the mind arc is still in there, but we're running into some new items that are in for our, in our inventory. For instance, the soul engine and things like this. So where do we get the heart of the sun? That's our next uh, next biggest thing. So let's see what it's going to take to create such a thing. So let's go back in here. We need the heart of the sun. Let's look at the installation details. Acquire recipes from the synthesis lab or the space anomaly. Okay, so I guess we're going to be heading there. Let's go ahead and do what it tells us to do. Now I seem to recall that we had the ability to find other items. So... And it was going to give us some of the uh, things along the way. It looks like we have a audio. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is for a settlement. We will get to that another time. Basically, since we're in a new, new galaxy, it's going to try to give us the ability to find a settlement and get that done. So, anyway... Let's get out away from the atmosphere just a little bit further and we can pull, pull in the space anomaly. And let's see what we've got going on here. Now, it's been a while since I had to create a remembrance. So, I want to make sure they haven't changed anything in regards to this. So, I haven't tried to play it through yet myself. Uh, the lack of multiplayer. I do miss it. Okay. So we need to go here. Well, you know what? We should probably talk to them, but uh, let's just keep going. Now, my guess is it's directing us over here. Let me just make sure we're still selected. No, nope, we're not. We are on Still Remembrance, right? One more time. So we're going to go into our other menu over here. Installation details. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Now, we could acquire these. We've got 14,000 nanites. We could go ahead and acquire all these. It's probably not a bad idea to go ahead and do it. So when you get a chance, do so. You're not going to use some of these, but I like to be able to have everything completed over in this area. This is another story. This is a completely another story. If you really want to get anything out of here, it's up to you. But you'll notice that what these items are, I mean, superconductors, the fusion accelerant, things like this, these over here, this fusion igniter and the um, stasis device, very expensive items. So if you can learn how to build those, you can make money really quick. That is a whole nother uh, video series that we'll have to do, because you'll have to create farms to build everything that you need to in order to get these things. But anyway, that's a story for another time. But as you can see, as I'm going through here, there's literally nothing in here. So we'll go ahead and let it... Tell us how wonderful we are about acquiring these things. 
Now, because of course we're new here, we're going to go ahead and grab this too. While we're at it, we haven't been to the space station in this area too. So we may get that too. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade 200,000. Oh, and you remember that? I forgot. We haven't fixed everything yet. Yeah. I guess I ought to fix my exosuit first, huh? Well, tell you what. Let me go ahead and do that. And obviously we're not finding what we need in this area. So let's go ahead and head over to the space station. I'm going to go ahead and get my self repaired. And then we're going to go ahead and finish up the reinstalling of the Remembrance. And then we'll continue on with the Atlas Seed. Okay, so I'll be right back. We're going to pause here and be just an instantaneous moment for you. Okay, and we're back, everybody. So, um, as you can see, we've got everything all fixed up now. Everything's back to normal. Um, Hyperdrive is getting a little bit low. I'm going to... I've got six warp hyper cores. Uh, I'm going to just use the regular ones for now just to get them out of my inventory. Um, not much to do there. I've reorganized my inventory a little bit so I can get rid of some of the stuff that's been in here. and doesn't really necessarily need to be here. Um, and sold off some stuff and cleaned up everything that's in here. So we're, we're in better shape than we when we started, of course. Uh, but everything is now repaired. We're back to normal. So, um, on our merry little way. So I learned something very stupid um, that I wasn't thinking of, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going back to the log. In order to install the Remembrance, we have to do the Atlas Path. So, here we are, just a few minutes in. Let's go ahead and get started with the Atlas Path. We have to find the next Atlas interface. It says Nada and Polo can um, assist in this area. So let's see what we can do. Now, we're on a different planet, as you can see, because I needed to uh, jump over there and grab some things. Let's pull the anomaly back in. I know we were just here, but of course, from a different planet, we're going to go someplace else. Blasted through a lot of credits. I had to purchase a lot of items to get this going here. And here we go. So we'll talk to Nada and Polo first. So this is going to continue the storyline. Now remember, we've reset everything, right? Only universe. Let's see what they have to say. Is it first? Is it last? Welcome regardless. Traveler entity is always welcome aboard our home. So it seems like he doesn't quite remember us, but he knows that things have changed. If you have something to tell me, Traveler, Entity, Nada chooses not to hear. You're welcome aboard our home. Leave Nada to peace. Wow. Talk about rude. Eh, that's all right. He just doesn't want to know anything more because it confuses him and makes him a little bit uncomfortable. Polo, you have spoken to Nada. Joy, new arrivals, new friends. Is it? Let's try telling him the truth and see what happens. Do not speak, friend. Nada tells me. It is first, it is last, so it goes. Some things I do not want to discover. Ouch. Okay. Let's see if we can talk to him one more time. We're going to ask for Atlas Station coordinates. So it says, always more to do. Oh yes, but not just now, friend. Go. Be free. See the stars. Polo knots. Serious. They send coordinate data for an Atlas station to my Starship computer. So what this does is it now enables your ship to start discovering Atlas interfaces. So you'll jump from star, uh, star system to star system, the ones that have Atlas computers in them. Also remember that Null does not exist anymore. Now if he does, he's going to exist at his, as his original entity, probably his uh, whatever his original... Gosh, he could have been Gek, Viking, he could have been just a Traveler Anonymous, he could have been anything. It's hard to say what he would have been. But he would reappear as whatever Traveler being he used to be. And with no memory whatsoever of what happened. Same thing with Apollo. And who knows, maybe there's a new... And see, it's directing us towards, that, towards an Atlas station, right there. So, we're going to follow it. So, you know, who knows what might happen. We might even have Artemis in the system, too, but... Something that's going to be an untold story, uh, as far as we know. But, who knows? Maybe if Hello Games is watching this video, maybe it's something they can do as an additional storyline. Where you have to rediscover and find Artemis. But how would that end up? 
very interesting. Anyway, moving along. Alrighty. Okay, hang on just one second here. And we're back. Okay, good deal. So here's our Atlas interface. Ooh, what is this? They left us, duty bound to follow them, but I know where it will end. If you receive this, follow my cord and secure the site in case I don't come back, please. Okay, my starship processes the coordinates from the star stranger's message. The transmission has decayed over time, but the location appears to be valid. This is, yeah, Dreams of the Deep again. <clears throat> so you're wondering, probably to yourself, wait a minute, we already got those missions, including A Planet in Distress and Dreams of the Deep, so why are we getting it again? It's because we're in a completely new universe. We're no longer in the starter universe. And my brain literally just skipped uh, a sector in there. Um, I can't remember the starter universe that you're in. Anyway, that's not important. Well, we're now in the Eisentum galaxy. Being that we're in a new galaxy, it has to reset a lot of these different... Um, Oh, yeah, we need to get out of there. Hold on. Back to Atlas Path. Okay. So we will investigate that another time. We will do Dreams of the Deep as his own separate entity. So here we go, into the Atlas. Well, that looks completely different now. Because, you know, every single time we've been to the Atlas, it's always kind of teleported us there. Now we're actually flying in. You have no control over your vehicle. You're not going fast at all. You 200 units per second. We're going pretty slow. And there's the Atlas in all its um, <clears throat> glory. Now, you remember those little white pods on the ground, the little lights that we said to go ahead and get? You're going to find a difference now. You remember how we can only get a couple of them? Well, now we will be getting a lot more. Watch what happens. Yep, just exploded as usual. Let's grab this one. I'm going to go around one side and then the other. Why is it important? Well, as you're running through landscape on a planet, you usually come across those nice little uh, stones that you can get words from. Well, the only way to learn words of the atlas is by going through places like this. And you'll usually find words. This usually went over here. This one will give us one almost every time. See, you. Let's see how many we get. Not getting a whole lot this time around. I don't know why. We usually get a few. Any over here. You to recharge yourself every now and then. Nope. Okay, so it looks like we've gotten all of them. Let's run through here. There's one up here. This one usually gives us one too. Yep, sky. Okay. Alright, and I love this scene. This almost deserves. Can we? Yeah, we can. Let's do a pull back on this. Do we get all three? Yes, we do. So you're looking at the thumbnail for this video. Let's see if we can center it a little bit. Sorry, I'm a little particular and OCD about this, folks. You're not going to see me. You're just going to see the atlas. Nice. Okay, moving on. Always get these because why? They give us warp cells. Okay. Let's talk to the atlas, shall we? You, Muley, the infinite. Yep, the sky, Rubot, hate, Duke, plan. Okay, so we're not picking up all of the words yet. Geometric construct geglet. Interesting. Something something traveler. 
The Atlas called me to this interface, and yet its purpose remains unclear. It demands worship. It demands obedience. It welcomes me. It knows that I am. It offers the gift of true understanding. But why? Why does such power and knowledge crave submission? It knows my thoughts before I know them myself. It knows what I will do. So you see, the character itself that you're playing understands now that it is just a construct of a machine. It is a program within a program. Mind-boggling. But it knows. The Atlas asks me to follow its path. Well, we're going to accept it. Now, it says Milestone Pathfinder or above. We're going to explain that in just a second. I will accept this. The sky is deep and full of wonders, and the path to enlightenment opens to me. So we've gotten a new product formula called the Capture Nanode. This is an atlas seed containing zonally shifted quasi-stellar substrate. Do not allow matrix to commune with this dimensional space. And it's made out of chromatic metal. Okay. So let's take a look, and it restores our health in case we're damaged. So let's take a look, and as we go in here, you see we now have this that we can create. So let's create this. So this is going to help us over time build the item that we needed over here. And I don't know why I put it in my starship. Let's go ahead and put that in my exosuit. Well, we can't make it yet. We need Heart of the Sun. So we're going on a path here to get this. Now... What does it mean by Pathfinder? Let's take a look. So in here, you're going to find that you have lots of things. Let's go to Collected Knowledge, I think it is located in. And if I'm not mistaken, It should be in here. It may take me just a second to find it. Let me go ahead and pause for a second so you're not bored out of your minds as much as I'm going to be. Be right back with you, folks. Okay, I found it. Sorry about the delay there. Okay, so um, just get into your catalog to begin with. Choose any one of these. It doesn't make a difference, but as soon as you choose, like, for instance, the Viking, because I happen to have it selected in here, go to Exploration Milestones, and you'll get your overall journey, which is Galileo. So you see that Journey Milestones are a record of your journey through the universe. Okay, so this means I've reached 57 milestones. You'll notice that it's all 10 stars. I literally have reached the maximum amount of uh, overall journey that I, that I need. Now, there's a possibility that I'll need to do more space exploration to get to the higher setting in here. I don't know. It's a very difficult uh, situation, but I'm pretty sure it's based on the overall journey. And since I've reached Galileo level which you should have as well by this point in the normal storyline, we should be able to acquire all the Atlas Seeds without any problems whatsoever. If we do run into a problem, I guess we'll find out. So let's get moving. So we are done here. We are done speaking to the Atlas. It's time to head back to our ship and move on to the next system. Gosh, I love the layout. I love what they've done with the graphics and the uh, waypoint update now. Really looks a lot cooler. And we're off. Okay. A little bit of hydration going on. There we go. All right. We are not doing Dreams of the Deep. We will come back to the system one day because we're probably going to establish a base in the original system we were at. Probably not right away. Although if I find a different system, I'm going to be very, very happy if it has uh, some nice... Paradise planet that we can settle on. Okay. It's got to do this every time. There we go. Now, it takes us on two jumps, but if I'm not mistaken, our ship should be able to make it in one without any trouble whatsoever. Off we go. Now, I don't recall if any of the Atlas locations will be in a pirate system, but I guess we'll find out. Not that that's fairly important. Um, I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. I try to come out with one or two videos a week. Sometimes it'll be the regular playthrough, sometimes it'll be like the 101s. Uh, when expeditions come out, I'm focused on that, so I have been a while since I actually made some of these videos. Off we go. We're not going to worry about scanning the planets in these systems. We're just going to go ahead and take care of this. We 
wish it was just a little bit faster. But we got to get the complete experience. See, every one of these stations can be slightly different in what it looks like. Like the last one had all the lightning and stuff going around. This one looks, looks like a black hole sitting up there rather than the red orb. It's very, very interesting how they keep doing that. All right. So since we're up here, we'll get the endless word. All right. Let's go over to the right. We'll start over here again. See if it's going to prove me wrong. It's probably going to prove me wrong. Oh, hey, we got one. Okay, good. And that is how this works. System recharge a little bit. We'll get one over here, of course. Reality, huh? And of course, the messages from the Atlas will start to get more and more understandable, obviously, as the more words we learn. Plus, we reach milestones for learning words. Ah, see another one. Yep, another one. Good. And I think that is all of them. Okay, let's go ahead up to the Atlas and check it out. This one I don't think I'm going to take a picture of, although it is still rather cool looking. Dang, look at that. And I love the fuzziness of the character. Hold on a second. You know what I said? Yeah. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm sorry. Right there. It's just so wild looking. I can't help it. Love these pictures. Okay. Grab our warp hypercells. Cause, uh, warp cells, I mean, because we'll need them. Uh, really interesting. Uh, Unity of Fuferi. Endless. The. And I'm not reading the rest. Verdama. Yep, great. I'm glad for Verdama. And all their cookies. Or whatever. Another Atlas interface. How many of these constructs exist in the deep void? How long have they been slumbering, waiting for a traveler? Have they been expecting me? Am I somehow chosen? The Atlas crafted this existence, the Gek, the Viking, the Corvax, the stars that fill the skies, and the hatred that burns within the deep. Every world that turns and every form that lives, the Atlas offers it all. Consent. Milestone. Juno or above. I take the gift of knowledge, certain that in my decision all doubts are silenced. The stars await me. We get the englobed shade. One captured nano, the thing that we produced last, and in this case we need pure ferrite to create the next item. So, off to the exosuit. Here's the item we created. Here's the next one. Okay, we got that. Now, if I may suggest, create two of them, if you have the ability to do so. Because you may need a second one down the line. Okay? You can also do it as you can, because otherwise I can't get a much up. <laughs> can't get close enough. I guess its butt was too big. Yeah, you can quote me on that. I just seem to recall, and I don't remember why, but you you may need a second. All right. Off we go. Now, one thing you can do, and something that I failed to do, is that you should kind of go ahead and hit up the space stations as you go. It's not just so you can expand your exosuit, which I'm not going to do at this time, but a good reason to do so is because the more space stations you've journeyed to, the more diversity you have in finding items that you need on certain space stations. And it may just it may not just be elements. It could be um, hardware. It could be upgrades for your weapons. Uh, I'll get in here sooner or later. Um, it could just be the planets in the system and gives you an opportunity to explore every system that you've been to. So 
And just as a precaution, I always jump out and jump back in my ship. Okay, we're on our way. And into hyperspace. Where's our next one? It is over there. Okay. We'll take it. Partially opened wings. I love it. I know, I know. They're sails. Don't be critical. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ignore the click. Okay, we're at our next system. Let's see. Off we go. And let's see what this one looks like, because all of them seem to have been getting very, very different. Or looking very different, if you will. All right. And we need more words, of course. Wow, yeah, that looks like a crazy-looking orb. Almost creepy-looking, man. I don't know. Go down the center, take the one in the back. Go to the left this time. He's going to go to the left? Yes, he's going to go to the left. Shut up. Oh, I got two of them. There was one underneath here that I picked up. That's cool. See? Get them all. I know. It sounds like I'm talking about something else. Okay. Nothing from them. The further we go, I mean, it's going to get more and more understandable. So if it gets to a point where the, the messages from the Atlas are readable, and we're not picking up just the word the, or the word end, then we'll get, we'll try to start reading it too. Oh, look at all these right next to each other. Oh, what do we, what do we get? Linguist, 50 words. And we might have picked up a couple extra words there. We, we'll never know. Glad it recharges my running rather quickly. There, there. Okay, I think we got them all. All right. Let's go ahead and hit this uh, creepy-looking guy. Oh, that is just so wild-looking. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting shivers watching it. I'll take my warp cells. Thank you very much. Okay, this is the... Tempa. Tempa Singularity. The of reality and... Yeah. Go there. Oh, he's talking about jackals. That's great. You, hmm, interesting. What else is he calling me? I was born with everything I needed to explore these worlds. My exosuit, my ship, every tool and every impulse led me to scan and give name to whatever I could find. But this, I can give no name to what I see. Within the orb, I see worlds that never were. I see the stirring of something primal and undeniable. I see the death cry of a god or something approaching it. It wants me to persist in this journey, seeking fragments of its interface, the stones of the atlas. It rejoices in my repetition, my compliance, my cloud of unknowing. Concede, Milestone Rosetta. I will commit myself to the voyage. In all things, I am ready. I will not falter. Okay, so we need the englobed shade, and this time we need ionized cobalt. Thank heavens I purchased more. Because I didn't purchase it. I was thinking about not getting any. But 
Here we go. And we're going to make two of them, like I said. And I think we have... Let's see. We have regular cobalt. Oh, that's dioxide. Duh. Okay, I'll be alright. Let me see how much we have left. I'm curious. Cobalt? Yeah, we don't have much ionized left. So I'll probably get some more when I get a chance. I could be creating some right now out of the cobalt, but even the cobalt I don't have a whole heck of a lot of. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't just do this before. There we go. And we're off to the next location. Hmm, contaminated planet. So let's see. So what we're going to do is I'm going to head to the space station as usual. And I'm going to spare you the journey. So what I'm going to do is every single time I go to a new system and I'm, and I'm arriving at the Atlas, I'm going to go ahead and unpause the video and bring you all in and have you see the exploits in there. And then as we leave the Atlas interface, that was really, really weird. Hey, look, it's a pirate station too. Go figure. So as we leave the station i'll pause again i'll go on to my next system i'll arrive at the atlas and then un and then unpause again okay and i'll spare you the journeys to each one of these space stations at the same time so stay tuned we'll be right back and we're back and we're at the next atlas interface as you can see i got a pretty cool planet in the background there by the space station i may scan that real quick before we get out it looks real pretty so i don't know what this is anyway we're at our Atlas interface. Let's see what kind of uh, monstrosity we have ahead of us this time. Oh, dude. Okay, you know I'm taking a picture of this one. Oh, man, look at that. That's, that's creepy. I haven't done the regular playthrough since... Uh, the new update so this is a lot of this is new to me as well we have a lot of orbs we can acquire here see we're, we're acquiring some that are directly underneath us at this point too okay I'm gonna go to the right this time oh yeah we're learning a lot of words here Oh, missed one. Crud. I thought there was one back here. Got to check in here, because sometimes there's some in there, too. Unreal. Hopefully this will start making things a little bit more understandable. Because we're learning, what are these called? Uh, I failed to remember, unfortunately, my old English lessons back when I was in grade school. But are they called prepositions, I believe? We're learning a lot of those. So we can get the generalization of the language itself. And then we start learning these words, eyes. It tries to teach us, as we go, um, the more common words in the language itself that you're going to find as you're talking. And here's an oddity, right? It's teaching us about the word fear. One. Should be one more. All right, let's head down the path. I think we got them all. It gets to a point where everything gets so understandable you don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm going to try something real quick. And what is the three? Okay, just want to try something real quick. Whoop, wrong button. I like the lit up platform. A little bit lower. 
Gotta get the right camera angle here, folks. Uh, come on. Come on, tell me that doesn't look really, really cool, okay? Gotta get it just right. Uh, huh. No, uh... Guess not. No warp cores this time. Warp cells. Nothing. Fear nothing. Okay, now we can get somewhere. The cannot be... This is you are. Okay, well, we don't get much of that message. I feel the stirring of heresy within my mind. At each interface, an atlas stone awaits me. I am driven to gather them. But to what end? Why does the omnipotent require my prayer? What is wrong with the heart of existence that its creator requires this pilgrimage, this dance of grinding stones? Yeah, grinding. Grind indeed. Comply. Milestone Cassini or above. You like that reference, don't you? I answer the question. I will not turn away from the challenge. The Atlas guides me and I will answer its call. Dark matter. So we need the orb and five magnetized ferrite. No, we're not going to run out of that anytime soon. I think we've got a ton of that. Okay, it was going to put you down here. So we're going to go dark matter. Dark matter. Okay. On our way. The platforms don't light up anymore. And here we go. Okay, so that takes care of that. So what I'm going to do uh, real quick here, like I said, I want to exit this and take a look at that planet because it looked really cool. I will share that with you real quick. Not that planet. Although that is kind of a nice looking planet too. What kind of planet is that? Infested. Yeah, that's actually cool to have in the system. But hopefully this is a nice planet. Temperate. May not be paradise, but that is a nice looking planet. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, you know what? I'll hit the space station afterwards. Let's hit the let's head to the surface of the planet and just take a quick look at it. Maybe it's nice looking, I don't know. Temperate could mean anything. It may not mean paradise, but Man, this is very nice looking. Or so it seems. Nice lake in the middle of that. That's great. Let's get down here. Eh. And then when you get down there, you're like, eh. Eh. Yeah, see, there's not a whole heck to like. It looks barren. For a temperate planet, I was hoping to expect some kind of, like, foliage or something like that. This place looks dead. And as we come across the green spaces and stuff like that, they don't look as green anymore. Any place to land? Well, yeah, look at that. Let's take a look. Because, you know, something to appreciate about the game, we can sit there and do the Atlas Seed quest as we go. But you gotta, you have to explore. That is the whole purpose of this game: is the exploration and the enjoyment of the journey. Um, this is a transmission tower, so it might be worth us doing a little something over here, don't you think? I don't particularly care for the planet. I'm not going to produce a base here. Um, let's see, weather is choking humidity, so I don't know if we're going to get any storms here. Lots of fauna and flora. Well, it says few, but it usually means there's a lot more than we think. Uh, let's check this out and see if this brings us to a ship or a freighter. If it's just a freighter, I'm not going to really worry about it. But I think this may be for a ship. Hey, look, free nanites. I'll take them. Uh, it's at six intervals of 16 seconds. I feel compelled to work out the encryption, locate the ship it calls out from, and discover what horror awaits at the crash site. Wow. Okay, so again, a pattern, uh, 80, 71, 63, 56, some of you can see it automatically. 80 to 71 is a, is a difference of 9, 71 to 63 is a difference of 8, 63 to 56, 7. So obviously the next pattern is 6. So we want to reduce by 6. Correct? 9, 8, 7, yep, 
So six. So it should be 50. There we go. Oh, and it looks like it's like right there. And it is a freighter in this case. Not an actual ship ship. Okay, I'm not really too, too worried about that. It's not like I, I don't really need the money. So we're going to just avoid that. So, hey, hope you enjoyed checking out a different planet. But here's what you, uh, this is what you find when you come to planets. You find things you may or may not like. Oh, look at that. You, you couldn't bring me to a landing platform. Anyway, okay. I'm going to go off to the space station, and I will see you guys in just a few. And we're back again. So we're at our next Atlas interface. So something to learn from the last thing, a little bit of a moral thing. Uh, yeah, and I try to put those in here every now and then. So we looked at that last planet, and we saw it was a beautiful planet. We landed, and it was very decrepit and almost desolate looking. Um, don't judge a book by its cover, right? And even more importantly, and this is kind of important. This is very, very odd. This one's really, really odd here. Anyway. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Look at those three beings up there. We'll get a nice picture of that. But we always talk about, or I always say at the end of my broadcasts, to never criticize kindness, right? Try to be kind whenever you can. Well, part of that is trying not to judge other people. You know, we look at another person, we think of how, you know, maybe how pretty they are or how attractive they are in some way, form, or fashion. But... The bottom line is, is that it has nothing to do with the kind of person they are. Our life experiences change everything. Every person's different. Even if you're a twin, an identical twin, they're not so identical. And as you, if you have friends or if you are a twin yourself, if you have friends who are twins, you can always see that there's a difference between the two of them, especially over time. And life experiences and how they're treated and how we treat each other uh, shape who we are. But at the same time, we have, and I'm getting very philosophical here, I'm very, sorry, sorry psych, psychological as well. Um, we are in control, if you will, of what we will do and who we can be. So if those experiences that you've had in life have made you into a person that even you don't like, change your circumstances. You have control to change who you are, and no one can tell you different. Accept yourself. I think that's what that boils down to. Accept yourself. Don't judge a book by its cover, because we don't want to be so harshly judging others that they would harshly judge us. Be forgiving as much as you can. Always judge others. If you have to judge them, judge them for the kind of person they are, and enjoy what they bring to the table. Enjoy what they, the diversity they bring to everything. Anyway, we've learned a lot of words here. Sorry to go so philosophical on you guys. This is a really cool one here. I've been here before. I do remember it. It's only changed moderately. Because now what you've got is you've got the three beings. And if you look really closely, if you look really, really closely, they are... Let's get up there real close. We can't get any closer than that. Left hand side, we have the Gek. In the center, we have the Corvax. And in the right, we have the Viking. So, what could that envision? The Eotid Nus Convergence. Here we go. No purpose. That's all we got out of that. Bring it to us. There is time. Maybe it means there is no time. There is plenty of time. What kind of time are we talking? When I dream, I see the atlas. When I see the atlas, I am the dream. I see sentinels swarm through universes like an infection, emerging from a world of glass. Everything is happy there. Everything will live. I see the portals. I see the travelers that walk between them. I see the span of history. I see everything as the atlas sees it. Alone, abandoned, terrified. But what power could instill fear in the heart of the Almighty? It asks for something. It wants to know that I understand. 
sent. Milestone Kepler. I have become the Harbinger, the Pathfinder, the Seeker of Ways. Now, is that Harbinger or Harbinger? I don't quite remember. I seem to think Harbinger is the actual correct word. Anyway, the Seeker of Ways. Through me, the universe will know itself. Dawn's End. We need chromatic metal for this one. So let's jump in. Let's create our next two units. Dawn's End and Dawn's End. We should have had enough chromatic metal. I got more on my ship, but I don't have a lot of more. Fortunately, we don't have to use it. All right, we'll take the shortcut. Up and away. So we're learning a lot more words from the Atlas. You'll get a lot more of them than you will of any language group because you can only learn one word from an entity at a time. You can only learn one word from a knowledge stone. And sometimes around the uh, big... Uh, pillars that you have on the ground uh, on some of these planets, you can get th sometimes two or three words. This, you're getting sometimes up to a dozen words at one time. So, anyway, on to our next journey. Okay, we're back at the next Atlas interface. Let's see what this one has in store for us. Yes. Fly at the big glowing red thing in the sky. Or in space. Aha! So an atlas shaped atlas within an atlas within an atlas. I love it. Ooh, that was interesting. There we go. Yep, he picked up a word underneath. Wow, there's a lot here. Polyglot, huh? How dare you call me that? Nope. I know, it's a little bit uh, unsettling. Let me grab these two real quick. Hey, we got a word out of it, so it wasn't an... It was definitely worth going there. Whoa. Okay, that was kind of crazy looking. All right, let's see. Quite. Get a word out of that one. So, yeah, I know this is kind of boring watching this, but we're getting all these words. That's what's important. We need them in order to understand more of the message. Communion. Huh. Interesting. It's getting to like one out of every three gives us a word. Maybe four. Okay, that looks good. All right, jump on the path. Back to the light. Already got that one. This one is not as impressive, to be honest with you. At least I don't think so. So I'm going to hold off on that. So again, not giving us any more warp hypercores. The Hamanono Majo Singularity. All, none return. Ooh, that looks uh, weird. Beyond the cascade and the something, there is only clarity. So we're picking up a lot more now. The act of discovery for discovery's sake now seems like a foolish conceit. I have rejected the path of the itinerant. I forgot that word for a moment. I have rejected the call of the stars. Only the atlas matters now. With each encounter, I feel as if I understand a little more. All of us are what we are. Oh, that's an interesting statement. All of us are what we are. Okay, well, if you say so. Evil arrives at in the individual and goodness is not enough. Evil arrives in the individual and goodness is not enough. 
Fascinating. True greatness lies in sorrow, in the embrace of what we must become. Now, see, I kind of agree with part of that. True greatness lies in sorrow. It doesn't have to be within sorrow. Greatness can, allow, can arrive in many different forms. Um, and sorrow doesn't have to be the seed, if you will. Uh, the embrace is in the embrace of what we must become. Yes, okay. So let's conform. Milestone dawn. There has never been any other choice than this one. I go on. We go on. Eternal, forever, searching. Photic jade. So we need copper. Thank God I picked up copper at that last station. See? I picked up more copper. I found some guys selling copper, so I was like, you know what? I could probably use that. Photic jade. Photic jade. Moving on. You know what? Just out of curiosity, how is my hyperdrive doing? Okay. All right. So we are going to move on to our next point. And you see me gather all the words as we're going, so I'm going to hold off in the next station. I will pause again as soon as we arrive, and then pick up all the words, and then we'll pick up at the Atlas Terminal itself. Again, so that way we can speed things along and you can see how things go. All right, we're out of here. See you in a minute. And we're back again. Next Atlas interface. Enjoy the arrival. And as we land, I'm going to go ahead and pause again. Ah, we've got our red orb again. Okay. So nothing special there. A little bit of lightning, the usual effect, except we're landing at the outer platform this time. Okay. All right, folks. I will see you in just a moment. Okay. Learned all my words. The light up passages along here. Distortion. The Wayne Skull Singularity. Bring us something if you are capable. Well, I have to know what the something is. What is learned can never be unlearned. I'm afraid that I have seen too much. There are glimpses, half remembered visions of a time before time. I see the birth of the first star. I see the things that dwell within it, the eyes that watched. I see what the Atlas saw at the moment of its activation. Interesting. Activation. Hmm. Atlas stones are not stones. This station is not a station. I am not what I think I am. I am not even sure that I exist. The Atlas does not care. The Atlas demands its threatened... Wow, okay, it's going to use that word here, huh? Threnody. Wow. It's repetition sublime. I am going to have a little bit of an email that I'm going to send out to Hello Games about using these kind of words. Um, I haven't seen words like this since I was reading books back in the, uh, you know, the 80s, for Pete's sake. Back when the authors actually tried to expand upon the English language and enhance our own vocabulary. So, to use these words in a game, uh, even though it was created in 2016 and they revamped it as of this year, come on. Really? <laughs> okay, so we're going to submit. Milestone Curiosity. I silence my fears and renew my dedication to the path. Only the voyage matters. The destination calls to me. State Phasier. Okay, we need cadmium here. Ooh. Well, I guess we're getting one of them, because I don't think we... Oh, we do have plenty of cadmium. For some reason, I thought we had less. Okay, we're okay. Moving on. State Phasier... And we're done with this one. Off we go. Going to go ahead and pause here, and we'll pick up the next station, guys. And we're at our next interface. Let's see what the Atlas looks like or sounds like this time. And pray to all that's holy on this planet that they actually do not use words that we can never understand. I'm just kidding. Really want to look that up.
Okay, looks like the same as the last one and the first one. Interesting. Okay, so nothing special here. Let me land, grab some words. See you in a second. And we're back. Got a whole ton of words here. And here we go. The Nexus Slamel Noisa. You shall see something. Our eyes. You shall be something we are. Do not be all something. Something are yours. Hmm. I have become the servant of this ancient sentience. It guides me through the cosmos, ever searching, never deviating. Have others come before me? Have others faltered upon the path of the Atlas? Only an ending will revelation arise. Interesting. Resistance will not be permitted. Hmm. That sounds really familiar to another phrase from an old TV show. The Atlas wishes for me to know what it is like to create. It wishes to share some portion of its being. I sense that it cares deeply about this journey, that it is trying to show me something it cannot articulate through word or demonstration. Yield. <laughs> Milestone Hubble. I have no choice but to proceed. This is destined. It is the program. I have always been searching, and I cannot falter. Nove Reclaimant. Ugh, we need Emerald, and we don't have any. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I gotta go find some Emerald. Green Star System, here I come. Alright, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause here. I'm gonna grab some Emerald. Uh, don't be caught without Emerald. And we'll see you in just a couple of moments for you, and probably a much longer time for me. See you in a, see you in a second. Yeah, so you're seeing where I'm at right now. I'm on the anomaly. What I found out is that in order to get to the star system I need, I need the hyperdrive that I can get to the star system that I need because I don't have it. I didn't realize I didn't have it, <clears throat> so I've got to actually purchase it. Yeah, you don't get that through the normal storyline. You get the one for the cadmium, you know, for the red star systems, but you don't get the one that you need to get to the other star systems. So we have to go here to this guy and purchase it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, that should be right here. So this gets us the green stellar bodies, which you need cadmium to make. So we'll grab that, and he kicks me out, so I'm not even going to bother. We're going to go ahead and grab the indium drive as well, which we need emerald for. Now, here's a good, in interesting thought process here, folks. Um, you don't have to keep these on your ship. So, in other words, if you get the indium drive, which is the biggest drive you can possibly get, the best one, it will allow you to go to red bodies and green stellar bodies as well. So you can get the both. So you can actually go ahead and uninstall, for instance, the cadmium drive in order to get, you know, just so you can make some room up here. But considering the fact that you can now increase the technology area of your starship to a very great degree, <clears throat> who cares? <laughs> so I completely leave it up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Emerald Drive installed. And I'm going to get my Indium Drive going too, just because, but I need Emerald in order to make that happen. So I'll build that later. So yeah, that's a thing. So guess what? Now I'm off to get Emerald, and I will see you folks in just a couple more moments. And we're back. So that was fun. So I upgraded my starship. It's got the two new drives on it. We're all set there. I haven't done anything with the seeds yet. We'll do that when we land. Actually, we can do that right now. Let's just wait and take a look at what the Atlas looks like this time and see if we're seeing the same thing over and over. Yep, I guess they ran out of uh, ideas. Okay, into our inventory. So now we can create that and that so see i reduced my amount to by quite a bit okay all right let's get some words and i'll be right back okay and we're back off to the interface in our next part of the storyline there is no sanctuary only communion i guess we're getting enough words finally close now Close to the end. 
The truth of the universe is fire, the soul is light. I am the experiment and the observer, all creation constructed for my journey. I see the universe around me and I know that it is good. I see the universe around me and I know that I shall create my own. Succumb. Milestone Viking. Not long now, not far to go. The stars beckon with cold fire and I rush to meet them soon, very soon. Modified Quanta. And we need indium. Of course we do. And I haven't gotten any indium. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go again. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pause here. I will pick you up at the next Atlas interface. And we're back once again. I had to go to two different systems to find what I needed. Now, it's like a nice blue planet in the background there. I may check that out here in just a couple of moments. But let's see what this Atlas interface shows, and I have a funny feeling it'll be the same as the last several ones we just went to. What a shock. I know that the last one is different, if I remember correctly. Still, they are pretty cool looking. Okay, so here we are landing on this platform over here, and we're going to go ahead and jump out, learn some words. I'll be right back. And we're done learning the words. Let's go ahead and move on. we got to be getting really close to our next achievement on that, which is going to be the final achievement of learning words. I'm a universal translator right now, but I think there's one more level to go. This is the Nexus Tislev Elder. Do not turn away. Know our inescapable truth and despair. Wow. Okay. A little bit uh, rough there, buddy. Tell us how you feel. The final interface is revealed. This is the final one. The Atlas beckons. I am elated, terrified, broken. I have come so very far. It wishes for me to obey. If I am to hold the power of creation, it will be in chains. Obey. Milestone Magellan. And as you know, we already have that milestone. I am gifted power. I am enslaved to the imitation of life. Heart of the Sun. So we haven't made the modified quanta yet. As we've said before, we would do that when we got here. So here we are. We're going to make the modified quanta, of course. And now we're going to make Art of the Sun. And as you can see, we should get the achievement. Which should allow us to now install Remembrance. And there it is. Install Remembrance Objective Complete. And this should complete the Atlas run, I think. Find the next Atlas in interface. Okay. It still says to do it. I don't think it's completed yet. Hang on a second here. Let's see if it does goes any further. Ah. <laughs> Tom and Jerry did quite a bit, yes. Uh, I'm going to hang on to those. Okay, it doesn't look... It still says to find the next Atlas interface. So let's go ahead and go through it. I'm taking you along this time. I'm not going to leave you behind, because I have a funny feeling there's one last interface to hit. Even though we now have Remembrance, we now have the Heart of the Sun. This should be it. Makes sense, right? Let's do it. And there it is. There we go. Let's head over there and see where this gets us. This should be the last one, like I said. That's the reason why this video is running a little bit over. There we go. There she is. Let's see what we got. So thank you for coming along for the ride. 
Will it be the same thing? No, a little different. It looks like there's nothing there. How interesting. And you notice that there's no little pods all the way around, right? See what I mean? No little word pods anywhere. So have we learned the entire Atlas language? Well, maybe not the entirety of it, but I think we've learned quite a bit. Ah, okay, I know what this is. Got a little bit further to go to get to the Atlas interface. You'll notice that we're going a lot further than normal. This would be the final computer. Okay. So you'll notice what we have in here is we have different pedestals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pedestals, correct? And then a center pedestal number 10. What does that relate to? Let's take a look. This relates to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you remember what I said? About creating a second one, right? Atlas Seed Chamber. But you notice I can't do this one. I can only do the one that's currently activated. What this would do is actually reset the Atlas again. So what are we going to do, folks? We're going to do the smart thing. We're going to choose some garbage to switch over to. There we go. Because I have a funny feeling we're going to get a little bit damaged again. Another thing I'm going to do this time is, on my exosuit especially, I'm going to pull some stuff out of here. Here, let's do this. Can't remove that. Okay. Can't remove that one, but we'll leave it in its place if you understand my meaning. Because these all get damaged every single time, and I'm trying to avoid that this time. We need to go back to the starship for a moment, because we need some stuff off of it. So let me go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing to the starship and pull its technology out in the event that we're resetting everything again. So we may be, you notice my, uh, my run indicator is actually taking forever to recharge. Are we close enough now? We are. Uh, I'm not going to remove the teleport receiver. Uh, so where do we put all of you? Okay. Interesting. It allowed me to remove it. Nope. Can't remove that. Okay. Can't remove our hyperdrive, I don't think. Remove that. Get that to quit doing that. Okay, sorry. Can't remove that, apparently. Can't remove that. And again, we're not going to remove our item teleporter, because I really need that. Can't remove our shield. Okay, good deal. We've moved as much as we can, we, uh, we could, at this point. Okay, so I think we're ready. We need the cadmium, I think, and we're gonna need the emerald uh, and the indium. Pretty sure that's the only things we'll need. I think we'll need the chromatic metal. And copper, platinum, why not? 
don't think yeah, we do need magnetized ferrite. Don't think we need paraffinium. Okay, I think we've got everything we need. It's going to be messy in there, but that's okay. So preparation's important here. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it needs. Okay, it doesn't look like it needed anything there, okay? So we just have to activate all these. Two. Wait for it to activate. Third one goes. Number three. Four. Five. Remember who you are. Six. Seven. This is number eight. And nine. Here we go. Main chamber activated. Art of the sun activates it. Clarity, truth, actuality. Fosuji. I think that's an untranslated word. I stand at the interface of the atlas. I stand at the forge of worlds. This is how it showed me what it was. This is how the atlas shared the nature of its life, the workings of its mind. It never required prayer. It never required worship. All that it asked of me, all that it ever wanted, it was just input. I was just a user. Unbidden, the atlas seeds gravitate towards the doorway. The void is meant to be filled. Nothingness yearns for a soul. If I do this, a star will be born. If I do this, I will become more than I ever thought possible. So, do we walk away? We birth a new star. Let's go ahead and birth the new star. There's nothing, and then, then there is everything. I see a star blaze to life within the void, the spread of life planets, creatures, to give it meaning. For a moment I am as the Atlas is, for a moment I am the creator of worlds. The fabric of time and space stands revealed to me, black holes swarming from system to system. The Atlas screams. And we get the star seed. Now we don't have any tritium on my person, but we have everything else. Here we go. So we are done here. We have created a star believe it or not. So that's what happened here. Now where that star is and what it has to do with, I couldn't even begin to tell you. But that's what the star seed is that you get from your person as you develop it. You are basically carrying an entire star system on your person. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Okay, we should be close enough to the ship now. Let us... Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I guess I'll put you down here. Star seed. And I think the objective is complete. Let's check the log. Atlas path is still waiting. Path towards the black hole on the galaxy map. Okay. That will damage us, but not by much. Now, if there's much more than this at this point, we will go ahead and end this episode, and we'll pick up where we left off. Let's take a look. And I want to say this is truly the end. Ah, see how it has a double black hole there? Yeah. Yeah, it's out of jump range. 
guess what we're going to do? Let's put our ship back together. I don't care at this point. Now you know why I put it in a pattern that I did. Because it's easier to put back together afterwards. And we are done. Okay, let's go. We have to go to this system right here. Again, I'm going to hold off on adjusting my exosuit, but we'll see what happens when we get there. Somehow I thought we reset everything, but maybe not. Okay, any second here. I promise. Okay. Yes, there's our black hole. Now I am going to take you through this because the black hole sequences are so much nicer now. Here we go. And you notice how everything's warping and sucking towards the black hole. I can't help it. We've gone to plaid. Ludicrous speed. How far will we go? Only in no man's sky would we dare to enter a black hole with our ship. Here we are. Right at a rock. Okay. We traveled 1.3 million light years. Does that do it? Ladies and gentlemen, the Atlas missions are done. Now we are still in the Isentum galaxy. Uh, let's take a look around. I think I'm going to want to land at the space station. We'll end things there for this particular episode. And I'm going to just smash into stuff as I go. Yeah, 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 shut up. It's because one of my shots hit the space station. Okay. So our episode is complete. It looks like we have completed. It's kind of an uneventful end to it, but you acquire so much in doing so. So, while I'm here... I hope you don't mind staying with me. I had to torture my way through this. I eliminated a lot of the torture you all went through. Suck it up, Buttercup. There we go. Almost done. Okay, there we go. Put that back in my starship, 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 starship. There we go. I think that's it, right? That, you. Okay. Do, do, do. And don't you like to organize things? I mean, I do. It's kind of important to get things organized a little bit. Platinum. There's the gold. gold. Get the cobalts right next to each other. Put the magnetized ferrite over here. We got a couple of glitches that we collected along the way. And something for our freighter. Yay! Okay. But take a look closely, look at the ship, um, make sure there's nothing damaged. In the past, when you went through a black hole, something got damaged. You're in the wrong place. Um, it doesn't look like anything got damaged this time, for some reason. Very odd. Exoschool? No, no, that's okay, too. 
Except we're going to stick you guys next to each other because you guys cooperate. Hmm. Interesting. Some of them decharged and some of them didn't. And we'll change over to our other... There we go. Okay. So don't forget to clean up when you're done, folks. I got a shield. I forgot about that. Okay, so we are done with this episode. So as you can see, we now have the Space Anomaly, and we can do some more exploration over there. We also have New Beginnings. But what we're going to do, uh, New Beginnings it just means it's never-ending. You can just go on from this point. So the main storylines have been completed. We can do the Space Anomaly, too. Um, there's really not a lot to it. It's just day-to-day -day stuff that we can do on there. And those two primaries will always be up there. Always. So in our next episode, what we're going to do is, I'm trying to decide, we may do, instead of expanding the base, which we're going to do in another series, I think we're going to do Dreams of the Deep. It's going to be our next run. So thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I really enjoy doing these uh, videos, and I will continue to do them. I've been doing them for not quite two months now, probably since Thanksgiving. Uh, and I've really enjoyed doing it. I and I really uh, appreciate the comments people have been giving me as well. Thank you so much for... Uh, the interaction, uh, even if it's just a statement to say, hey, really appreciate the videos, thank you very much for that. That always, uh, That's always a nice thing to say. The And very well appreciated. Uh, and obviously, if you see anything that is out of sorts, out of the ordinary, something you say, hey, you didn't do this quite right. If you do it this way, it might work better. Or, hey, this would be better if you did it in this kind of a run. Um, I had someone recommend a live stream. I went ahead and tried doing that this Saturday with the speed run. Uh, an hour and 11 minutes I did the speed run out at that time. I did it again in another video, as you saw, posting at an hour and four. The fastest I could do. Uh, Zane got 47 minutes, if I remember correctly, and he got the fastest out of all of us. So congratulations to Zane. Uh, really appreciate uh, all the interaction we have with all of you folks, and I think you guys are great. Appreciate all the time we were to spend. Um, so again, hit that like button. Please feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. As I always end every, almost every episode, uh, never, ever criticize kindness. Try to be kind whenever you can, and always be truthful in everything that you do, especially to yourself, because that's where it starts. Thank you very much, folks, for watching. This is Alon Paul signing off.